DNS over HTTPS is coming whether ISPs and governments like it or not. This is a good read over at uh, Naked Security by Sophos. And the reason we have a picture of Homer took me a second. Then I'm like, don't. Literally, DOH, DNS over HTTPS, is referred to as DOH. Anyways, uh, enough of the Simpson references. This is actually a really good article about the rise of DOH and what it means for security, what it means for privacy. It's a big win for privacy. It's a big lose for those that want to have visibility into the websites we go to and block them, including uh, the many ISPs and the UK's controversial porn block system, which many systems do rely on DNS. Now, I've covered before DNS over TLS. This is separate. DNS over TLS means, and this is a general common way you set it up, uh, and we're going to refer to PFSense, but other systems do support it, where you set up a secure encrypted DNS to go from your firewall to whichever network you choose for your DNS, you know, Cloudflare, Google, Quad9 all support it. And then your local connections that your computer make, not just the browser one, but your computer itself, it needs more than just the browser for DNS. It contacts your local firewall and then all that traffic, once it leaves your network's encrypted, making you invisible, which is great. Unless you're a government that wants to spy on people. This goes a step further. And this is actually a big problem for filtering sites and filtering systems used by many companies and a common question I get. So I wanted to break down a little bit how that works and what's going to break with this and how to enable it in Firefox because it's uh, available in Firefox right now. Uh, it's just not turned on by default and there's not a lot of places that support it. But good news is Cloudflare does. And by default, Firefox comes with uh, Cloudflare pre-configured as a system you can set up. So to do this test, first, I wanted to make a rule. This rule is not enabled right now. This is the block for the demo, port 53 block on a special VM I set up at 172.16.69.129. Here is watching all the port 53 traffic kind of bouncing around on that particular system. So port 53 is the default port for DNS. And obviously, this is really simple. I'm just you could obviously move DNS to another port. I'm not getting into those technical details. I'm just looking at the default ports and the default way the VM works. So if we go over here, we're going to go ping apple.com and ping google.com. You know, we can see we're resolving addresses. Apple apparently doesn't support replies. Right away, we see some port 53 traffic over to the Firefox browser. And let's, uh, I don't know, we'll pull up Reddit real quick. So we pull up a couple of things and we'll uh, Google something while that's doing that. Google my name. YouTube comes up before. That's interesting. Pull up the About Us page. Not now. So, you know, generating some traffic and we go over here. Lots and lots of DNS queries. Just you can see it's completely filled with them. So everything is uh, working as expected. And of course, by default, and most people are running things at default, port 53 being DNS is not encrypted. Ideally, in the way it's set up in my network is we're using DNS over TLS, which means it contacts our firewall and it goes encrypted out. But that local traffic can be watched, can be filtered. And because it passes through DNS on my firewall, the popular tools like PF Blocker allow for blocking of websites and ads or whatever you want to block with PF blocker, which is pretty cool. But watch what happens when we block port 53. I'm going to turn this rule on. Apply. All right, so now all the DNS requests have timed out on this VM. No more DNS requests. The block is active. They've all died. So all the sessions have died. So we can't establish new DNS connections on this particular computer. Let's see what happens in the VM now. We try to ping something that's not cached. I got to come up with a new website name. Dead air. Can't do anything. So let's try opening up a website in Firefox. Uh, I don't want to open up any news crap. Let's try to open really anything. It's thinking. Let's try to go to Google. Now it may have Google cached in there. So yeah, it has Google cached. But that means if we look up Lawrence uh, systems again, and let's go to a website we haven't been to. Hold on. Try to look up something completely different. So if we go to news, we're resolving a new address, looking up news.google.com, dead air. 
go back over here. No new established DNS connections. So let's talk about how to turn on this DNS over HTTPS. You go to network.trr.mode, and this is just the about config. So you open up the about config, you're gonna get a warning. You're gonna to go to network TRR mode. I'm gonna modify it. You set this to two. Now we've changed the DNS inside of this. Now, if you wanna know where it's going, the uh, URI is right here. The default string is mozilla.cloudflare.dns.dnsquery. This is sending all the connections over to this particular DNS, the Cloudflare DNS. I don't know which other companies, I don't have a list right now of who supports it, but this is the default that you don't have to make any modifications for the default that Mozilla is working for. And you can see it timed out server not found. And I can still not ping anything here, but now what happens? Refresh the page. Hey, we're surfing the web again. Oops, now pull up that website that I can't ping, but I know it works. WCRC.com is our regional chamber. Look, I can open it up, although I can't do anything here. So here's different websites browsing away, but I don't have any DNS access. How's that working? Perfectly fine here, still no DNS queries. It's completely bypassing and doing everything over port 443. So if we look at port 443 on here, all the connections are being established over here and nothing's being established on DNS. So I am now, my system is now blinded to this DNS. Now this can create, like I said, a real big problem for companies that want to monitor DNS, that want to monitor and filter things via DNS or create redirected URLs for browsers. The good news is it adds a lot of privacy in this system. The bad news is you have to rely on any type of sinkholing you want to do of something in DNS, i.e. ad blocking or uh, blocking websites in general, or even having visibility into websites at the endpoint, and you'll have to do it as a browser extension to get this to work. So I just wanted to show how to do this. It's really easy to do. It is, to my knowledge, not supported in Chrome yet, with the exception of Chrome on mobile. So Android phones have been using this for a while, which has caused problems because people try to block uh, the bring your own device or block mobile devices. And Chrome doesn't care about what DNS um, when it's on mobile, it automatically uses its own encrypted DNS and bypasses anyways. So this is, um, like I said, it can be problematic in terms of, you know, if you're trying to do filtering, it's a big win for privacy. So they're going to have to work on something else. And obviously the other solution is going to be for a management or a business uh, use case would be to install certificates on the endpoints in order to get, control over what websites are going or visibility and locking it down. So it comes back to one of the things I've said many times, monitoring at the firewall is a progressively losing battle. It gets harder and harder. You pretty much have to focus on doing it at the end point because once again, this blinds the firewalls, blinds the filtering systems because the only thing that can be seen across the system now is 443 connections, which are all encrypted. And without a certificate installed on that endpoint that matches a certificate on the firewall, which also sometimes causes further breakage of things and more problems, especially with the newer banking websites and standards, it becomes invisible again to you, especially TLS 1.3 uh, with a second Diffie-Hellman exchange that happens inside the encryption, basically a second layer of encryption that even breaks installing the certificate option. So the firewall once again becomes blind to it. So like I said, just want to bring this up. It's going to be interesting to see how companies try to handle this, especially uh, authoritarian governments, because they're going to really not like this because they do so much DNS blocking. But this is the way of the future, and this is a big win for privacy. So I want to show you how to do that. That's all you got to do. Enable it is that little about config. And like I said, this is a beta feature in Firefox that is available. Use at your own risk, uh, but a pretty cool feature. I do like it. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and maybe YouTube will send you a notice when we post. If you want to hire us for a project that you've seen or discussed in this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com where we offer both uh, business IT services and consulting services and are excited to help you with whatever project you want to throw at us. 
Also, if you want to carry on the discussion further, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can keep the conversation going. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, we offer affiliate links below, which offer discounts for you and a small cut for us that does help fund this channel. And once again, thanks again for watching this video and see you on next time.